Hello, this is Tamara Evans, Digital Services Librarian at the Kings County Library. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access ebooks through the Valley Cat online catalog, as well as check out OverDrive ebooks from the Amazon website. Before we begin, you want to make sure that you have your Kings County Library card available, as well as your four digit PIN number. If you've forgotten your four digit PIN number, you can call our library and staff will be glad to assist you with getting your PIN number. Since we'll be checking out Kindle eBooks, you want to also make sure that you have the login information needed from Amazon. To begin, you want to go to the library's website, which is located at kingscountylibrary.org. Next, you're going to navigate across the screen until you see the word catalog and then click on it. Once you arrive at the Valley Cat homepage, you're going to type in the title of the book that you're looking for. So for this tutorial, I'm looking for the ebook Cottage by the Sea. And then once I've typed in my title, I'm going to click the orange search button. So as we can see, a total of 20 results came up with that type. Since I want to narrow it down to ebook, I'm going to click this first button option says format and then back in front of the box where it says ebook. Then I'm going to click include. And so this reduces the total from 20 down to two. So I want to use, check out this first ebook here, Cottage by the Sea by Debbie McCumber. And so as I can see, it says it's available in HTML format, format Adobe EPUB format, or Kindle format. This means that this ebook is available through our OverDrive collection. Being that I want to check this out, I want to press download. And then when I, after I press download, I'm going to type in my library card number. And then my four digit PIN number. And I'm going to press the login button like so. And then as you can see, it gives me three options in reference to how I want to receive this book. Adobe Digital Edition, which if you want to use this option, you'll need to download the Adobe Digital Edition software to your computer. And this will be discussed in a future tutorial. HTML format, which will open up in a separate tab so you can read it. Or Kindle format, which is the format we're going to select now. So I'm going to select Kindle and then I'm going to press the blue button that says check out. Once I do this, it'll open up a separate tab to take you to Amazon. And so this is the point where you'll need to type in your Amazon sign in information. And so let me do that now. And I've done it before and that's why it's showing information here. So then I'll press sign in. So as you can see, this shows the title of the book as well as the author. It talks about the information for lending limits. So as you can see, once your digital library book is redeemed, it'll show up in all your Kindle apps and devices. It automatically backs up all your notes and highlights. If you choose to purchase the book at a later date from the Kindle store, all your notes and highlights will be preserved. And if you want to return and manage your digital loans, go to manage your content or device. So after we've read all that, if we want to get the library book, then we'll click this orange button here where it will say where it says get library book. And you can also select the location where you want the Kindle book to go. So I'm going to select get library book. And then you'll be able to tell if you were successfully able to check out the E because it'll have this information here with your name. And then if you want to read it, you can click here where it says read in cloud reader. Another thing to notice, you can also tell whether or not you were successful in downloading the Kindle ebook by going to your account. So I'll go to this first tab here. Close these out and then I'll click where it says my account, which will show you all items checked out to your library card account. So 
also when I click this second tab here for checkouts as you can see here there's two different types of checkouts digital checkouts or library checkouts so any ebooks or e audiobooks that you check out from Amazon overdrive or cloud library will show in your digital account tab while any physical materials such as books DVDs magazines CDs will show up in your library checkouts so when I click this digital checkout tab here it shows that I have one item checked out Koch by the Sea by Debbie McCumber shows that it's a Kindle ebook. I can choose to download it again if I want and then the due date. So if I decide that I wanted to return this ebook early, it's as simple as checking the box in front of the title and pressing the button where it says return item. And be aware that it will give you the option to confirm whether or not you actually want to return the book early. So I'm going to press select yes. And now, as you can see, the ebook has been removed from my account. And then to end my process, I'm going to click where it says log out and then press OK, which will return me back to the Valley Cat homepage. This concludes the tutorial on how to access ebooks through the library's Valley Cat website and how to check out Overdrive ebooks through the Kindle website. Please make sure to follow the Kings County Library Facebook page as well as subscribe to the Kings County Library YouTube channel for more tutorials similar to this one. Thank you and have a good day.